ओके गाइस लेट्स टॉक अबाउट एनवायरमेंटल इंपैक्ट असेसमेंट और सिंपली टर्म्ड एज ईआईए नाउ इन अ वेरी बेसिक टर्म्स दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग टू अंडरस्टैंड फॉर द इकोलॉजिकल पर्सपेक्टिव एज वेल एज फॉर द बायोएथिक्स एनवायरमेंटल इंपैक्ट असेसमेंट इज द फॉर्मल प्रोसेस यूज्ड टू प्रेडिक्ट द एनवायरमेंटल कंसीक्वेंसेस व्हाट एवर कंसीक्वेंसेस कैन बी इट कैन बी पॉजिटिव वन और नेगेटिव वन राइट ऑफ अ पर्टिकुलर प्लान और पॉलिसी और प्रोग्राम और प्रोजेक्ट Uh, prior to the decision to move forward to the proposed function that's what it's all about suppose we want to uptake a particular natural project or any kind of project for example we need to create our artificial land or artificial you know suppose a building we need to produce or project or program or policy whatever thing it can be right but the idea was to understand that project from a to z and by understanding that project we need to think about the prediction we need to predict what is going to be the future effect of that project to the environment we need to look at the the projected outcome of that environment to the to the nature to the ecosystem uh, to the sociological perspective uh, to the economic aspects of human so all this part the cultural perspective also so that is the thing thing you cannot start a project you cannot uptake a program or start a program without knowing all these things because ultimately it leads to the failure so we don't want failure so before even starting that program once the program is proposed during that time we need to assess certain things right for example that assessment have several levels for example there is a preliminary level so that is called the preliminary screening right so usually the screening is based on whatever land or water boards uh, of the regulation actually this whole system is uh, uh, governed by the rules of administrative procedures regarding the public participation and documentation of all these things okay so so there are governing bodies of land and also water based uh, projects so this is the preliminary screening for understanding the basic need of the project to the humanity so once that is passed the second round was to the environmental assessment right they need to think about whether that will impact the environment badly or not whether it is good for the environment it is good for the health of the ecosystem or not once that is approved the third part is the environmental impact review and that is the final stage to understand about all the outcome of that project and to finally prescribe a format that which is the best beneficial way to go up with that project so once all these things are done that is passed and then it is called approved that project got approved it is proposed development moves to the regulatory part and then it start to action right so if you look at here it, it is showing us the details so these are the all parameters that we should take care of with the environmental impact assessment right for example we need to look at the transparency of that project certainty of that project participation of of individual with that project beneficial uh, effect of that project credibility of that project cost effectiveness of that project flexibility of it participatability of it and practicable practical ability obviously we need to look at whether the project is practical or not uh, it should not be a hypothetical one and looking at all these things and finally that gives us the idea so that the project will pass or not so that we can start the project or not and that is a very good idea because you know for up taking large projects or you know uh, programs or policies there are huge uh, participations for example or or you know millions of dollars are invested there but after doing all this if it creates hazardous effects and we need to stop it it is ultimate loss ultimate loss for that project and also ultimate loss for the environment as it is creating some uh, bad effects to the environment so for that we need to think about all these things even starting up the project so once we understand all these things before starting the project it will give us a clear idea right so that's kind of it guys and i hope that's helpful thank you